Tell me what this is. Are you trying to convert me? Has all this been to try and make me straight? Answer the question, Carter. Is this gay conversion therapy? What it is, is salvation. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. All the pomp, the ceremony, the show. And the whole time, you've been practicing gay conversion therapy. I don't recognize that term. What I offer is prayer ministry. I have helped countless people find their righteous way in life, and in doing so, they have stepped away from sin. Are you calling homosexuality a sin? It is there in the Bible for all to see. I was brought up in faith. My whole family are believers, and not one, not one of them has ever condemned homosexuality as a sin. Is this the same family who are all thieves and liars and adulterers? Be very careful, okay? It's one thing to demonize me, but not my family. Demonize? It's a very interesting choice of word. Now, I'm gonna need you to take a beat and realize that everything I have been doing has been to help you. You're supposed to be my friend. How could I be so blind? You've only been blind to your own wrongdoing by making the assumption that you might be gay. It's not an assumption. Nobody's led me to believe that I'm gay. I am gay. Okay. Let me ask you this one question. Has your chosen lifestyle made you happy? Of course, yeah. I've fallen in love, I've been married. Fathered a beautiful child. And these great loves you speak of, where are they now? You're alone. You're an alcoholic whose own son moved countries in order to get away from him. Everything leads back to one thing, and that is your chosen way of life with other men. You came here tonight upset about Scott. You've broken hearts and you've been broken by your choices in companionship. You caused an innocent victim to never be able to walk properly again. You were a victim of domestic violence and other unspeakable atrocities. What are you trying to do to me? You were also recently beaten and left for dead in the street. Have you ever considered that the choices that you have been making are the trigger for everything that has gone wrong? No. How can you possibly say that somebody's sexuality, who, who they choose to love, who they choose to sleep with, will determine their life's path? It's, it's crazy. Are you trying to punish me? No, John Paul, I am trying to save you. John. I am begging you to listen to me. Okay. But I need you to be honest. There are many things denounced by God. Pride, anger, gluttony. You are guilty of all of these sins. Here we go. The truth is homosexuality is a violation of divine law. No, it is not. It's a sin. And just like any other sin, it causes hurt and pain, not just to you, but to those around you. I've heard enough. No, no, please don't go. There's something else I... I need to tell you something I should have told you from the beginning. Please give me the strength to do this. Um, there was a time where I veered from the path of righteousness. Well, just because somebody thinks they're gay, it doesn't mean that they actually are gay. Are you talking about yourself? I was like you once. I, I had feelings for men too. I was...
confused, searching for something. And there was this boy in my year at school. And I just thought, he's beautiful. It's the only way I can describe him. Looking at him was like looking at a piece of art, if that makes any sense. And I thought I was in love. And then I remembered that the Bible forbade a man to lay with another man. And I felt just so confused. So I went to church and I prayed and I asked for help. And I got nothing. So I confessed everything to my father. And he told me I wasn't in love and that it was the devil's work. Oh, God, sir. No, but he was right. He was right to lead me away from that way of life, to show me that if I were to repent, if I were to turn away from my sinful thoughts, that I could be free. Free from what? From happiness? From love? From being who you really are? You said before that you've been trying to help me. I'd like to help you. Everybody deserves happiness. I am happy. How long have you been keeping it a secret? No, don't do that. Don't turn this into something that it isn't. It was one moment of incertitude. One time. I don't believe you. The way that you spoke about that boy was to show you that you could also be saved, like I was. Why are you doing this to yourself? I lead a good and decent life, John Paul. I'm the man that God wants me to be. You're the man that your father wants you to be. God doesn't condemn homosexuality. Twisted, hateful people do. And they do it in the name of religion. Carter, God loves all his creations. He doesn't make mistakes. We are who we are. Without shame. Without sin. I get it. Get what? I mean... Your reaction is extreme, but I get it, I do. But I've struggled too. It took a long time for me and my first boyfriend, Craig, to get together, and even longer for him to admit that he was gay. Isn't it time that you put all this nonsense behind you and just started living? Nonsense. May I suggest you reread your Bible before you start referring to my life as nonsense? Okay. Do what you want. But you leave me and every other gay person the hell alone. I was trying to help you. I don't need help. I know who I am. You were wandering down a very dangerous path. Not true. Is this about Freya? What? what? I mean, she led me to you, but... So you do hate me? No. Then what? I needed to stop you from just going after random men. What are you talking you about? You need the right person. A woman? Someone who will love and respect you. Someone who will do right by you. That is what you need. You don't know what I need. You barely know me. I do know you, and I know that you were a good man. You were a beautiful man. What did you say? You heard me.
Now, if you want to watch a Hollyoaks episode in full, just click here or click here to keep up to date with all the drama from the village. Don't forget to subscribe.